and welcome back to Match 1. This is Old Man Pool. We have won the dice roll. And we've got a pretty great hand here. Double white's even very nice because it means that if we buy or find something like the Exultant Sky Marchers, we can play them on time. Well, let's go ahead and keep. I think we probably are running out the Legion Lieutenant before the Dinosaur Hunter here. It may... It may depend on how aggressive my opponent looks because if we feel like we want to trade off, maybe that's better. Because you can always play this on turn 4 after the Blood Letter and get in for 3 damage. That's maybe a little bit surprising. My opponent is slow, looking like Evolving Wilds, though. And maybe it's still better to sandbag the Lieutenant. And just, if it dodges early removal, that's really nice for us. My opponent does have something like a Moment of Craving, etc. There isn't that much difference between playing Dinosaur Hunter and Legion's Lieutenant as far as getting in damage, at least at this point in the game. I guess that was a long way of saying Dinosaur Hunter is better early in the game. Legion Lieutenant probably has a little bit more power later in the game, so I should play the Hunter now. Ooh. That was probably a mistake. Yeah, he's cracking it now. That's unfortunate. Sometimes you do want to see what your next draw is, but that's unusual. I think we'll probably get some free damage because of that. That's That sucks. I've done that a million times for sure. Okay, white green has like a reasonable removal suite, not quite as much balance as something like blue, but Squire's Devotion might still be a little bit of a tenuous play. We'd like to find some more action, where we've really hit as many lands as we'd be happy seeing for the rest of the game. Yeah, that sucks. It looks like he's missing a land drop. Oh no, okay. Ooh. Vanquish the weak. Could just kill it. Doesn't feel spectacular though. Let's play our Legion's Lieutenant and get in there for three. Gleaming Barrier. I have to assume my opponent's got a better late game with a play like that. Legion's Lieutenant and Squire's Devotion is a little bit nice in hand because it's likely that if my opponent's got like a good removal spell like Bombard, he'll just kill the Lieutenant. Unless he has something much better to do at this time. Territorial Hammer Skull. Not what I expect standing next to a Gleaming Barrier. I guess that's a good combination if you are in a race. So my opponent's tapped out. We drew another Squire's Devotion. I could just kill off the Territorial, Territorial Hammer Skull, but my opponent's on defense, it's a lot worse. I think I'm actually just going to equip up our Bloodletter and get in there. I guess it lets him block both. This gets in, if I vanquish the weak, it would get in for more damage immediately. Again for five. Still have Squire's Devotions. It's nice to do this when my opponent is tapped out. I like sandbagging the removal, especially because Territorial Hammer Skull is not at its best right now, but still a 2-3. Like, we could Squire's Devotion up the Lieutenant and get in. Yeah, let's just swing with everything. But then the Lieutenant still blocked that Gleaming Barrier forever. I think I'm just gonna hit up the Blood Marcher here, or Blood Letter. You have to let me know what you think is correct there. I think that is kind of close. We don't care too much about the lifelink, so maybe it's bad to give up the extra point of damage. I mean, lifelink's nice. We don't care about it too much at this point in the game. But, but if he just has removal spell for the bloodletter now, we're... I guess he uses up his mana, and then we could vanquish the weak and still get in for some good damage. Keeps the Legion Lieutenant alive, probably, in that case. Yeah, I don't know. I can't decide. Often when you can't decide, that means that the choice is close, and so maybe it doesn't matter all that much, but... Okay, Tianoli's Knight. Hmm, maybe he was just a little bit light on playables. He is wanting to get down. Or wanting to beat down. So at this point, I kind of like putting the Squire's Devotion on this Vampire, swinging in... And then killing, or I guess killing the Hammer Skull first, swinging in. That's a pretty strong tempo play. It kind of requires him not to have anything, but he's stuck on three lands. I think this wins us a game a lot of the time. Magic Online seems to be a little bit laggy here. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm having a little bit of slow input. The sands look pretty disgusting. 
Okay, opponent concedes. Yeah, I think he probably just couldn't find his fourth land, and not cracking that Evolving Wilds off the bat. Or, I'm sure. What do we want a sideboard? It looks like my opponent's trying to be aggressive, at least. They probably don't want to bring in something like Arguable Bloodfest. Don't think Grasping Scoundrel looked good. Could bring in a border. I don't know, I have a kind of, I'm not really sure what what level of aggression my opponent's playing. I think I'm gonna keep as is. I of, I've often mentioned that I feel like I don't sideboard quite enough, but nothing here looks like a silver bullet either. Okay, uh, another pretty reasonable hand. We do need to find lands. I mean, we've got three four drops in our hand, but even if we miss for a couple of turns, we've got Skyblade of the Legion, which is a good defensive card, backed up by Moment of Craving, so. I think we're gonna keep my opponent mulligans down to six. This hand definitely could go wrong, but I think it's got a pretty good chance of uh, a nice draw, too. Yeah, see, another planes is a, a good draw for us here. So I guess the dream is to find like three drop and one more land, and then no more lands for the rest of the game. <laughs> I guess we need to find Swamp specifically, for the dream, of course. Hey, look at us go. Play our Skyblade. Alright, and 3-drop. That's all we need for the, the perfect draw. Come on, top deck. I believe in you. You've been nice to me so far. Ooh, my opponent with the, the natu natural Naya over there. No big deal. No big deal. Oh, so close. Well, I guess I'm going to swing. I don't really see any reason not to. So we can play Alendra next turn, and then if we have to impale or Moment of Craving something, she starts growing immediately, which is nice. I think that's a... It might depend on what he plays. I'd say that might be good enough that we don't Moment of Craving a play here if we can. Oh, man. One's got three colors, but can't seem to find his lands. Okay, well, let's play Lendra for combat on the off chance that he's got, I don't know, like dual shot and slash of talons or something. I guess playing dual shot or Lendra dual shot would be not great. You'll notice that I haven't called her Glenn Lendra yet. I'm doing better. I had to point it out, so maybe that doesn't mean all that much, but it is true. We could have played the Revenant there. If my opponent really is just stuck forever on lands, that might be a little bit stronger of a play, but okay. Lightning Strike. We get a very small amount of value. And my, it did eat a good card from my opponent, so can't be unhappy. Play our Vampire Revenant. And we'll swing with our one power creatures here. Yeah, we're definitely not off to a crazy fast start. My opponent, man, is having a tough time, though. Eh, we've drawn a few too many lands at this point. But again, I, I don't think I can complain compared to what my opponent's facing down at this point. We're just not killing him quite as quickly as I would like. Okay, did find another land. I have to imagine he's got a play on four. Especially given that he's got seven, like, non-land cards in hand. One of them's got to be that cheap. I did the Stampede. Yeah, that's going to have to get shot. Because that means he probably, since he didn't have any plays up to through three, I would think that, that means he's got a whole bunch of, like, powerful sort of expensive cards that he's willing to play. And even though sometimes you might say, well, I'm just going to wait for him to play his Charging Monster Sore or whatever and impale that, Night of the Sand P just offers such a tempo boost, and my opponent's so far behind on tempo. I think just killing it's our, our best play here. There are other times where I would sandbag, but I have to think that my opponent's got a lot of good cards in hand. This also has the merit that it takes him down to a one turn clock, so he has to play like something with reach or something that interacts next turn. Six. Yeah, it looks like we'll hopefully be able to have a fast match one here. My poor opponent just, yeah, did not have great draws. Yeah, opponent concedes. Well, I'm always happy to pick up match wins, but yeah, that was, yeah, 
<laughs> Maybe not the best. Well, I, I, will, I will see you guys for match two all the same.